from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Sportsline. Hey there, Sportsline on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Tuesday night on News Channel 5 Plus. Oh, so many things to talk about. We are going to break down the national championship game last night. Why I think Nick Saban states his case for being the best head coach all time in college football. We'll get to that coming up on the show tonight. We can talk about big hire for Tennessee football. We can talk about Preds and Vanderbilt who are both playing tonight desperately in need of some wins. But what I want to start with tonight is what the NFL is doing, what they have been doing today, and what they have done tonight. NFL owners within about the last hour have voted to allow the St. Louis Rams to not be the St. Louis Rams anymore, to pack up, take their shoulder pads and helmets and load up on a Mayflower truck or whatever like they did in Baltimore so many years ago and go back to Los Angeles 21 years later. They also voted to give the Chargers the opportunity to either go back and get a stadium deal in San Diego or join the Rams in Los Angeles. The stadium will be in Inglewood, California. That's where Stan Kroenke, the Missouri native and owner of the Rams, bought a whole bunch of land and has started developing various things there and plans to put up a $1.7 billion stadium in Inglewood, California. It'll be done in 2019. The Rams will play in the Los Angeles Coliseum, share it with USC until then. USC gave approval tonight for the opportunity for the Chargers if they end up deciding to come to move in early and also play in Los Angeles. So it is a big day, certainly for the NFL, certainly for Stan Kroenke and a lot of people dealing with the NFL movement. But what I have big issues with here is how this all went down. NFL franchises, pro sports franchises, are not supposed to be hot potatoes. They're not supposed to be things that you just pass around whenever you're tired of holding on to one. Or in this case, whenever an owner is tired of being in a certain location. Sports are supposed to unite us. They are supposed to be things that take your mind off of the daily grind of stuff. They're to bring states and cities and regions together. This and what has gone on in recent years in St. Louis, to a lesser degree San Diego and Oakland, it's not good. This is a bad look for the NFL. It is a bad, bad look. St. Louis still owes more than $75 million in bonds and taxes on the Edward Jones Dome, which they built 20 years ago for the Rams to come to St. Louis. They went out of their way to roll out the red carpet with a the time what was a fairly state-of-the-art dome to bring the Rams to St. Louis and as we all know stadiums don't last anymore and 15 years later Stan Kroenke assumes this team tells everybody in St. Louis don't worry I'm not interested in moving I want the team here as much as you do I'm a Missourian I'm a St. Louis I want this team here. Shortly thereafter, he starts looking into land in Los Angeles, specifically Inglewood, puts it all together, and starts plotting to get the Rams out of St. Louis and send them to Los Angeles to put up a development 
out there around what he thinks is his football stadium. I got a problem with that. I have a real problem with the way he did it. He had no interest in dealing with the city of St. Louis, who understandably, after all the money they raised and putting up the stadium that the franchise demanded all oh, about 15 years ago, while they were still trying to pay that off, they weren't interested in building a new stadium for the Rams. So they did it. They did it at that point. And I don't have a problem with that. I think you got to get things right and you've got to pay that off first. Totally understand that. But then when his threat became more and more real to people, St. Louis came to the table. They put together a proposal. They went after the opportunity to try to keep this team there for their fans, for their city, for their state. And Stan Kroenke never met them at that table. Did he want them there? Doesn't appear he did. He wanted to move to where he thought there were greener pastures and more money. And I feel for the people in St. Louis tonight. we got to take our first break. We will come back. Phone lines will be open at some point. 737-7767 is our number. We'll get to your calls. We'll talk about this move. Much, much more here tonight on Sportsline. Stay tuned. You're watching News Channel 5+. Plus.